Hey guys, Double Wide Six, and today I'm going to show you guys a way to fix an auger bit for drilling holes if the bit becomes very dull. I did this quick fix because I was in a pinch and needed a hole, and it worked out so well I left it. I thought it was temporary, but I'm going to keep it because it's working quite well. So I'll show you what I did, and uh, we'll also show you the auger drilling and show you the result. So here's the bit. It's on my stand here, which is basically a oak board that's four by eight inches by uh, eight foot long. And with this three point came an auger bit, which looks to be in decent shape. This one's a nine inch bit, but I didn't know it and the guy didn't tell me it was missing the cutting teeth. So what I've done is I've taken a gator lawnmower blade and I've welded it right onto the bit. And I did one on the left and one on the right so that they each cut uh, pretty equally. It's a little bit hard to see. But if you look at this bit, I have storage on the back of this uh, thing that holds the three point. This one, the teeth, there's two teeth right here, cutting teeth. And this is a 12 inch drill bit and it has a nice long uh, spiral that will engage into the earth and kind of pull itself down. So that's kind of what I'm trying to mimic. And I also, on this 9 inch bit, the, uh, the tip, the screw tip was worn out pretty well too. So I built up some weld on there and then I kind of hit it with my angle grinder and I think that really helps this bit on the left uh, dig down and pull down on its own. You can see this 12 inch bit has a much more aggressive uh, auger screw to pull itself down into the earth. So those are the modifications that I made to this bit and it worked quite well. So why would I do that? It's because if you go and buy one of these bits, they're about, at Tractor Supply, which is pretty cheap, that auger bit, I think it's a Titan brand, I think I paid about 200 bucks for that 12 inch auger, about exactly that, okay? And if I wanted to buy the 9 inch one, it would have been about the same price, maybe about 190. Now they do sell teeth, that you can buy and new tips but I priced it out it was about 80 bucks to get teeth and tips for this one so what I decided to do is just pay 200 get a 12 inch auger which is nice when you're doing things working with concrete and you know making substantial holes or planting trees or whatnot but for fence posts and things this 9 inch auger I thought would be handy to have and I just put those blades on there and uh, yeah I'll probably you know eventually if that wears out I'll just cut them off with a grinder and do it again so that's that so this is a look at the blade that I used you can see it was cut off here with a grinder it's a gator blade so just took off each end just like that and I added it to the auger bit.
of all, here's what we got. You can see it's this big shaley stone. Whenever you dig, you really need a digging bar here. Did pretty good. I'm still getting used to the tractor and trying to figure things out, as you can see. But, uh, yeah, I made a, a pretty quick hole. I wanted about two foot because that's about how big or how deep I want to go with this 4x4. Four four. Well, that's what the birdhouse looks like. Looks pretty good. I leveled it, put a little topsoil around the base. So, I noticed there was a baby in there, so I'm hoping the mother comes back. I'll have to keep an eye on it. So, we'll bring you in here. We'll take a look at these. I think the reason I went with the gator tips rather than just standard high lift blades is that I think this kind of helps the the rocks get shifted up and out and breaks them up a little bit and then it, you know the rocks will get caught on the auger and pulled out of the hole so there's a blade on each side they're just about four inches and um, yeah so far it, it works pretty well because this thing would not dig a hole at all without the tips on there and unless you buy new blades it's pretty much junk or a new auger bit so I figured it's better than throwing it out it only took me about 25 minutes to weld that on there anyhow this tractor is a Yanmar YM1610 it's a three cylinder Yanmar diesel and I went through and restored it uh, so I'll probably make a couple little videos on this tractor down the road but I'm using it around the house and doing what I can do with it so uh, let me know if you want to see any other videos on the tractor and if not so be it anyhow I'm double wide six have a good one let me know what you thought of this video